hi there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we'll be talking about maths in python what they are and then how you can use them python is one of the best programming languages out there and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the maths the inbuilt functions and also how to import the maths model and then use them in python consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials let's jump into action so this short code just imports in this short code i just imported the mass function or the model and then i try to use some function within that now i'm going to clear this and then first i'm going to start with the inbuilt functions now within python you can easily print out the minimum number within a range print out the maximum number within a range you can also get the absolute value and also you can also get square roots and others okay so let's see how we can do this in python first i'm actually going to use the inbuilt function so let me just use inbuilt functions first so down here i'm going to create a variable and i'll call this variable number and then i want to print out a minimum number within a range so i'm going to say the mean and then i'm going to list my numbers separated by what a comma so this is what i'm going to do so this is a list of values that i wanted to print out the list number within them using the minimum number so i'm going to say print i actually want to get a minimum number so i'm going to print out this variable remember this variable is going to hold everything that we have within this if i should go ahead and print out this if i should go ahead and print out it's going to give me five and then five is exactly what i want to do because that's the minimum number within this range if i should update this list and add three to this list then three should be the minimum number so if i go ahead and I run this and see i'm printing out three now this is actually an inbuilt function what about if we want to get a maximum number that we cannot probably do max like this and then print out this and then eight is actually the maximum number if i update this and add let's say 14 and i run this code and should get 14 as the maximum number so this is a typical example of the inbuilt functions but there are other functions that you need to actually import what you call the model the mass model before you can use them okay so we actually going to do that in a bit but before that i'm actually going to use a negative value over here what about if you want to get a negative the positive part of this i can use the abs that's the absolute value so this abs means absolute value it's going to print out this number but it's actually going to be a positive number if i run this you can see it's going to print out the same number i'm actually getting a positive number okay we can also get a power so let's see i want to get a power of a number so let's see seven comma five so i mean seven to the power five we want to get a power of that number so d o w so this is actually going to print the power of seven to the seven to the power five so that's going to watch so that's exactly what i'm going to print so go ahead and run this so this seven to the power five now i want to go ahead and then print out some other functions Okay, and i'm going to clear this with this i need to actually import what we call the model so import a model use use the keyword import and then i want to use the mass model port it this way now what is going to happen is that i'm actually not going to print this because i call a model anytime i want to use a function i need to target that model so i'll call the model dot and let's say i want to get a square root so i'll write something like this and then let's say i want to get a square root of 64 and then do something like this if I print out this, then it should be giving the square root of what, 64. You can see the square root of 64 is actually 8. If I put in 144, which should be printing 12, you can see. So this is a typical example of the model part of mass within Python. You actually need to import a model in order to do this. Now, we can also go ahead and then say we want to get the value of pi. If you want to get the value of pi, you can just say the model which we imported dot pi. And if i print out this you should be getting the value of pi you can see so this is how to use the mass model there are other functions we can use once we import this model we can use the seal so the seal is actually going to run a number to its highest whole number okay so this highest whole number so if i print out this i should be printing the number five you're going to approximate this if i run this i'm getting the number five even if i to change this to 4.1 i'm still going to get 5 it will just run down it's just going to go ahead and run this number but the opposite of this is the floor if i use the floor 
it's actually going to print just four without pros limiting this so you can see it's going to print out a four even if i should change this to 4.7 it's still going to print out the four for me like that so that's the difference between that we actually going to go into details and creating a lot with python so remember to subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss my future video there's a lot coming up on this channel and you can afford to miss that thank you so much for enjoying this till i come away again bye bye